To make the connections to the turbo board, I'm just going to solder the wires onto the pin headers here. I've had too many crimp connections break on me, so I just think this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. There's three wires here, one for each ratio setting. Now all these are on, I'll just use the heat gun on the heat shrink. So the ratio switches in here are four pole switches. Uh, this one is only using two of the poles, so there's two empty poles left. Which is great, because then the XPAL audio has the ratio circuitry on there, and using just the one switch we are actually switching two completely different channels of circuit. Now the three ratio wires are connected, tinned and have their heat shrink on them. We're going to add the cable that's going to connect to the pole of the switch. Now we're ready to connect the pole wire, just going to choose one of the empty poles here and we're going to use a multimeter to buzz out to see which ones should be connected to where. Ok the pole's connected to that terminal there, this is 2 to 1. And now we switch to 4 to 1, and we'll just double check with the multimeter which one that's connected to. It helps if you make a good connection on the pole switch. So now we know to connect the 4 to 1 to this terminal. and this will be 10 to 1 feel free to check it with the multimeter although I know this is the one and we'll slide the heat shrink over the terminals And finally apply some heat, make it all look very nice.